three essential skills that librarians must manage in the digital world? Well, there are probably more like 30 essential skills, <laughs> but I'll limit it to three. One is, of course, being cognizant of and competent with the technology itself. It is always transforming, which means continuing education is absolutely essential for every professional librarian. You have to keep up with new developments in the technology. Beyond that though, one has to be cognizant of what those changes in the technology mean for users. What differences will that make for the retrieval of information, let's say, for the evaluation of information? for the use of information. And if there is a third essential object that we need to discuss here, that is providing for the fiscal management of these various resources. Uh, we may in the future, and it may be the not too distant future, be moving toward open access on a large scale. But for now, these digital resources cost a lot of money, and that means there are opportunity costs. If one is spending a lot of money on resources, what can you not spend money on? So fiscal management is, I would say, the third essential character of the digital age. Do you think that the paper of editors will change at the commercial editors? I think it's inevitable that, that w there will be a, a sea change in the way we do business in the not too distant future. Uh, big commercial producers, and I won't name names right now, are exceedingly profitable primarily on the backs of libraries and like institutions. That has proven to be an unsustainable model financially. So there has to be a different model of creation, dissemination, transmission, and use and retrieval to make this sustainable in the future. Fiscally sustainable and also intellectually sustainable. And something like open access has the promise to be both fiscally and intellectually sustainable in the future. We have taken some baby steps in the recent past towards open access. We're beginning to take larger strides towards open access at this point in time. And I think we're going to begin to sprint towards open access in the not-too-distant future.